So, the question of life on Mars has been puzzling scientists for decades, but now the European Space Agency is hoping that a new small robot probe might help provide some of those answers. Yes, and if the expedition is successful, it'll be Europe's first landing on a planet after a failed attempt, you might remember it, 13 years ago. Our science correspondent, Palab Ghosh, reports. For centuries, people have looked up and wondered if there's life on other worlds. Later today, a European spacecraft will enter the Martian atmosphere. The mission's main purpose is to test out a new landing system. It's difficult to land on Mars. You have to use heat tiles, which stop the thing burning up at the top of the atmosphere, then parachutes to stop it as it goes down through the atmosphere. So doing all that with a European lander, hopefully successfully for the first time, will show, you know, sort of, that we can do it. If it all works, the landing system will be used in a second mission in four years' time. Here's the prototype. A rover, designed to drive around and search for life on the rocky terrain. NASA has sent several rovers onto the Martian surface, but this will be Europe's first, and it's different from all the other missions. This one stands the best chance of all of finding life on Mars. The European rover will be the first to be able to drill deep under the surface. Scientists think that if there is life on Mars, it's underground. Everything that we've learned in the last few years about Mars has actually built the body of evidence that life could still exist on Mars. So where previously our focus was maybe on past life and maybe traces, fossils or something like that of past life, now we're looking more towards current life and things that could still be existing there today. Scientists used to think that Mars was always a dry, dusty planet, but this NASA simulation shows what they now believe, that billions of years ago the red planet was not always red, but lush and flowing with water, and so capable of supporting life long ago. But these pictures from 2011 shows that water still flows on Mars you can see channels where it has trickled down. And where there's water, there's usually life, possibly there now, waiting to be found. I think it's the perfect time to go to Mars, especially this, this experiment of drilling into the surface and looking for life for microorganisms there. So in a few years' time, it could be you that's looking through the data and be the very first person to find life on Mars. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be mind-blowing. I can't, I can't even imagine it. <laughs> it was 13 years ago that Europe last sent a lander to Mars. It was Britain's Beagle 2 probe. It descended safely to the surface, but it wasn't able to send back a signal, and so the mission failed. But this time, the European Space Agency hopes there'll be a successful landing on this mysterious and fascinating world. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. Uh, you can follow the uh, progress of Mars rover on the European Space Agency website from 4 o'clock this afternoon. And just for the record, I want to say that when the news does come out that there's life on Mars, I'd like to be here, I'd like to be the one who says it. <laughs> I'm not sure you can book news, you know. Uh, you know, just, I'm just saying, I, I would it's like It's not going to be like a, be a big day. A person, though. <laughs> it will you be a really know. big day. <laughs> People will be here that long. Uh, coming up in the next half an hour. What do you reckon? Smashing, Dad!